Okay, so I've received my DeskPi Pro from 52Pi uh, and I've been testing it out. Uh, I'm playing a FIFA video and you can see my temperature is 55, 56. So if I just show you how long it's been playing for, I haven't overclocked. Uh, so if I do Neo Fetch, and this is a new installation on an SSD. Uh, so yeah, an hour and 35 minutes it's been running for and uh, we're looking at 54, 55 degrees, and I'm not using the fan. I'll show you in a minute what the case looks like inside, but I'm using it in its passive mode, but non-overclocked, and uh, to touch the top of the case, it's not hot at all. Uh, it's, it's sort of slightly warm and, uh, and perfectly fine. So if we go back to the video, I can close that one down now. But that's been playing constantly, and I just put it back to the start so it didn't stop. Uh, so. If we go to the DeskPi store, uh, they've just let me know that uh, there is a different version to the one I've got. So the one I showed in my Raspberry Pi News uh, looked a little different. Uh, the, the bolts are a bit different on the front, but also on the back, uh, there are less USB ports shown. Uh, so And that's because the uh, top two that are here have like an adapter in them. Um, so that's what drives the SSD and also the front port. It's a very clever design, but I'll show it again in a minute. So if you want to know the up-to-date specs and if you want to pre-order, it's all on this site. So just click on the pre-order. I'll put links in the description. But uh, the exciting part is definitely what it looks like inside. I couldn't wait to take it apart to, to see how they designed it. So let's do that. Okay, so in my model, I didn't get any instructions. Um, all I got was uh, a USB-C cable a uh, charger but this is one for the states uh, and I got this USB adapter which is what powers the SSD and also sends the USB to these front ports uh, and also the SATA connection that's in there which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, they gave me a GeekPi 32 gig card uh, and that had Raspbian on it with all the files that come from the GitHub, if you have a look on the GitHub, and again, I'll, I'll put that in the description, basically uh, it's got control over the fan. So if you just install a normal operating system uh, and don't do anything to it, you don't have any fan, which is fine by me because I really like a silent build. But uh, if you want to use the fan, if you go to the GitHub, there are various things on there, and there's a Python script, and you just click on it, and it can start the fan, or you can tell it at what temperature to come in and go out and so on. So let's move these bits out of the way and just flip the front off. Now, it does come with a load of screws already in it, um, but uh, I've taken all of them out. So if I flip this front plate off, just a bit of perspex, and also there's a back plate as well. But the actual device uh, comes properly screwed to the bottom. So there's two, four, six, eight screws on the bottom. Uh, which is what's holding it in place. So it actually feels super solid. I've removed all these because it's much easier to do this bit. So this slides out. So let's just show you the outer casing. So this is one solid bit on the outer casing and uh, it's got rubber feet on it and you've got obviously got these uh, holes for the heat to, to dissipate. And uh, it does seem to do a really good job without the fan. But there is a fan and uh, some people had said in the comments because I put a picture of this on my YouTube, there is actually a fan uh, and it's here. So the way this heatsink works, it actually has pipes. So the pipes go from the CPU up to the heatsink, and in the middle of them, there is this fan. And the fan isn't connected to the GPIO. You can see nothing's connected to the GPIO. It's actually connected here on this separate board. Um, and uh, it, it is an amazing design, the way they've done it. So the way they've got the little micro SD card slot here, these two extra USB ports. This uh, power button turns between blue and red, and you can also press and hold to switch off the Pi. Uh, obviously, that's not a safe shutdown method, but it takes power away from it. I think you probably have an option of doing safe shutdown, but I haven't looked into that yet. Uh, so we've got this heat sink and the fan. We've got these pipes taking the heat away from it. And as I say, I was using it passively, so I wasn't using the fan at all. Um, but this whole construction uh, where you can see that the USB-C, uh, the little micro HDMI's, uh, and the audio jack even, there's, this, there's like a separate audio jack there. This is like a fake uh, micro SD card, which is obviously taking that out and then sending it through the board to these connections. 
really clever. And I've put this white is my uh, SSD drive. This is just a 32 gig uh, basic SSD drive. So there's actually a SATA connection at the back, which is plugged into it. And I've just put two screws in. Uh, it didn't come with these screws, but again, mine's a, a pre-release version. And uh, so I wasn't expecting it. And I actually had a load of screws from my 52 Pi cluster case. So I've used that on it. But yeah, I just, I, I love the way it works. It's, it's, uh, you couldn't really get it much smaller in the same sort of design. Uh, it's very sleek, but it also has this decent cooling properties. If you, th if you look at how much they've maximized the space, uh, it is super impressive. So let's put it back in uh, and then I'll show you the uh, GitHub and I'll show you how it works with the fans. Okay, so I thought I'd show it with the with another Pi on top just to give you an idea of the scale and the size of it. So it isn't much bigger when you think of that and an SSD drive. So let's move that one out of the way uh, and just power it on with the SSD. And I haven't had to do anything with this. I wrote Raspberry Pi OS to the SSD uh, using Raspberry Pi OS uh, in the SD card slot. And uh, I didn't have to do anything, just took out the SD card, rebooted, and it started up. There you go. Uh, and I just wanted to show you that. Uh, I'm just going to switch to screen capture now. Okay, so if I go to the GitHub, uh, you can see that all the details are in here as to how to install it. This was already on the SD card that I got supplied. So what I'll do is I'll reboot with that SD card in the front. Because if you've got an SD card in this front slot, then it, that takes precedent and it will boot from that. The great thing about that is you can run the operating system from the SD card. You can write an image to the SSD drive all within the contained unit, which is excellent. I can even put an SD card in to the SD card slot and write an operating system to that from the SSD. Really, really clever. Uh, right, so let's shut this down and boot up with the SD card that uh, 52Pi sent me. Okay, so this is the SD card that was sent to me, uh, and you can see that because I've got my SSD drive in there, I have access to the SSD drive. Uh, so if I wanted to overclock, I could go into config.txt, and uh, I could overclock it, and then just reboot without the SD card, and that would work fine. So let's go into the folders on the SD card that they sent me, and there's a DeskPy folder, and I guess this is what the GitHub installs. So if I go to drivers, and Python, and here, PWN control fan, if I click on that, and I don't really do Python, so I don't, I don't, I'm not the expert on this, and there is no instructions, um, but obviously it will come with instructions, but if I hit run, the fan has just started up. But you can also have a look in the readme, and it tells you about how you can make it come on at different temperatures. It's running now, I'll get my microphone near it. And it seems to be changing its speed slightly. Um, so obviously this isn't the way that you do it, but you can see here that if, if CPU temperature 35 and CPU temperature uh, 50, 50, 65. So I guess that you can choose whatever you use from there. Uh, in the readme, there is details in here. There you go. So how to run it and so on. So I need to have a more of a look at that. Uh, as I say, this is a pre-production version. The uh, final release version is the one that you'll see on the website and the specs are on the website as well. So have a look at that. But I am super impressed with it. It's, uh, it's a really nice looking case. Very solid, very well thought out, great access to the ports. Uh, I love the fact that it's got the full size HDMI as well. Uh, yeah, I'm super happy. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.